Hello and welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. Boy, oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. I am going to do a tour of a horse trailer that was converted into a tiny house. It is just stunning, absolutely stunning. But what is so surprising is some of the things inside of it, from a Murphy bed to concrete countertops in the kitchen and even a mini bathtub. That's right, a mini bathtub. And it was built by a rising female star in the tiny house building industry. So come on, let's not delay any further. And if you didn't see my first interview with her, go back and check it out. Hello, Felicia. <laughs> we're we're starting the tour now. I just wanted to get, on the other video, I wanted to get a little bit of your background, but when I put them both in one video, sometimes it goes a little too long. Mm -hmm. So now when you walk in here, you walk in and you're coming through a large door that opens from the back. And then, now is this usually the entrance or... Okay. This is usually the entrance where the horses would enter into a horse trailer. Now, would be this be the entrance also where a person would enter into? Yes. Okay. So now, I'm looking here, and that looks kind of like a Murphy bed. It is. This, oh. uh, the cushions actually go on top. The pillows go up on top of the cabinets here. And then the bed comes down as a full-size bed. And oh, so, so you're ready for bed. So these cushions aren't part of the bed? No. You've got are. a regular full-size bed. Right. Oh, my goodness. Now, this cabinet here, you're a furniture builder, so I presume you built out this cabinet. Absolutely. Oh, wow. So it's on springs, I'm guessing? Uh, it's actually on um, on on pistons that I'm, I, I bring it down on. Okay. All right. So you have... A sofa here mm -hmm. and then it looks like is this drawers underneath here this is actual storage so when you raise this up there's tons of storage oh okay so that raises up in their storage uh -huh. and then oh my so well let's look over here so I guess over here oh you've got your TV there mm -hmm. and then you've got an outlet here mm -hmm. but now you could actually I guess you could put a flip down desk if you wanted here oh yes Yes, you could. So this could be a desk that flips up. Obviously for the show, it, it's great to leave it more open right, so people can come right. in. But when I build them out for clients, this could be a desk or this could be actually a full closet that I can build in for them. Or I wonder, well, I guess you could, maybe if you have a child, this could be maybe even a small flip down yeah. tiny bed. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So why don't you show us the rest? I'm looking at these finishings and I'm looking at this countertop. What is this countertop here? So this is actually a thin layer concrete and this oh, is a commercial wow. grade uh, concrete as well as a commercial grade water-based stain and okay. a water-based sealer. Wow. I don't see very many concrete countertops in custom builds as far as, you know, in rigs. Mm -hmm. And so, so this is very light. Oh, really? Oh, very light. This is actually placed, the con the thin layer of concrete is placed on top of OSB or uh, plywood. Okay. To make it All very right. light, but it's a very heavy duty uh, concrete that is placed wow. on top of that. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, again, your custom work here, your shelf overhead here. And I guess you could have doors on this if you wanted. Uh, there are sliding doors. So these, oh, are, really? okay. these are sliding doors, but for the show, I leave them open. Okay. And then now, is this tile or is this wallpaper over here? Uh, this is actually wallpaper. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very lightweight. And I can change it out. So I can, it peels and I can change it up on what mood I am for that day. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> I like that there. Here is that, well, like a bear paw there. <laughs> Whatever. This is my, yeah, this is my puppy paw. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and now what, what is this backboard here? So this is actually part of the horse trailer. Oh, and is there, it? It, this is rubber. So there's okay. rubber and then there's foam, uh, insulation foam. There's an inch and a half of foam behind this. Now, let me ask you this. When you're talking about insulation, is there insulation anywhere else in here? There is insulation in the ceilings. Okay. And uh, what kind of insulation do you have in the ceilings? Uh, so I have foam insulation in the ceilings and then I have the quarter inch um, wood on top of that. And when I build them out for the clients, everything that you see as far as electrical uh -huh. is, behind the, is behind the wall and there's insulation back here. Okay. So this just shows that it was a horse trailer, so it's not really insulated all, you know, all the way around, just to okay. show that it was a horse trailer. And then 
Is the floor insulated? Uh huh. The floor has an inch of foam and an inch of rubber, and then it also has 12 millimeter luxury vinyl on top of it. All of that. So now, would this be spray foam or those sheets of foam? The sheets of foam. Okay. They're right. very easy to cut, and they're very, and they don't move around and all of that. So it's very nice to drive around. Now I'm looking over here. And it looks like, so you made, so everything in here, every piece of furniture in here you made? Absolutely. Oh, wow. I'm just so impressed. <laughs> now, I presume the stove is propane? The stove is propane, uh, which is very nice. As you see, it has a nice oven. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice RV style um, stove with an oven. So, and it's a three burner RV okay. um, uh, stove. And then you've got, um, what kind of water system do you have? So I have 25 gallons of fresh water. Okay. Uh, that is actually, you'll see as we exit the, the bathroom. Okay. So I have 25 gallons of fresh water. I have 27 gallons of gray storage underneath and 27 gallons of black storage underneath. Okay. And then I'm looking down here. Now you've got, is that an air conditioner and a heater or just an air conditioner? Yeah, this is just an air conditioner. Um, in this unit, I only need this a small space heater. So right. I use that if I need it. And then inside here is actually, because I'm off the grid, uh -huh. this is actually uh, 300 amp hours of lithium battery storage with my inverter as well as my transfer switch. Now, what kind of solar panels? How many solar panels? I have 800 watts of panels on top. Okay. Now, I'm looking to see how do you have that because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to vent an air conditioner in my van. Mm -hmm. So, I haven't seen a lot that are or on the bottom like that. A lot of times I see them on the roof, but I was concerned with space. I don't really have that much space, plus mm -hmm. leaking if it's on the roof. Mm -hmm. So how do you have that vented? I have this vented from the side of the trailer. So this is actually venting on the side of the trailer. It has a small little slant so that any condensation will actually exit the trailer. Okay. And now is this just a regular AC unit? Uh, this is a regular uh, AC unit that would be on the window. And I okay. actually encased it into a cabinet, uh, its own cabinet. And I have it vented in, on the outside. So it's a, So it's a very economical way to do this. Yes. And it doesn't take a whole lot of power, I'm presuming, too. No, it does not require a whole lot of power, but I do not run it on my 800 watts of solar. I only run my AC when I'm actually plugged in with okay. my 30 amp plug outside. Okay. All right. So you have an outside plug, too. I do. Okay. I really want to look at the bathroom next because I have been dying to look at this horse, horse trough, which is really in sync with the whole theme of a horse trailer. So that, how is that? So it's drained oh, okay you draining there uh -huh. that drains right into my gray tank oh so you have a gray tank I do okay have a gray okay tank. I have 27 gallons underneath that the shower the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink drains into okay now i see over here is this a composting toilet or this is a flushing toilet and it goes into its own 27 gallons of black um, tank oh okay mm -hmm. now i'm looking over here what is this back here on the walls this is actually a foam waterproof backing that I have on the walls. Okay. And so again, this is like your the wallpaper that I put in the kitchen. This is just something that I, I put up, it's waterproof, and that it shows even more decoration for the bathroom. So if it gets wet, it won't be damaged? No, and it doesn't mold or mildew. Wow, now where did you get that? You, I ordered it off of Amazon. Off of Amazon, okay. Mm -hmm. And they have different colors and different types. This is more of a bricks And you would just look for foam wallpaper uh -huh. for foam wall uh in, yeah foam wallpaper okay and then let me ask you about this because i'm looking i keep seeing things i'm looking for mm -hmm. your shower curtain um rack circular rack up there mm -hmm. now did you mold that into shape or did it come like that you actually this comes as a track and you can get it up to i believe eight or ten feet long and then uh -huh. you mold it and cut it the, oh. to the size that you need it okay and obviously i was trying to make the confront the confront the the area as big as possible right. so that you know the shower area yeah. is as big as so it i'm looking be. at here and then does it come with the hooks up there uh-huh yes okay so this these are the hooks and then this actually comes all the way around but for the show i just have it tied right okay here. and was that from amazon too that is from amazon yes and okay. i ordered the curtains and all of that all right well this is just so cool and i am going to end this because we got more people coming in and 
I'm gonna end it so you can deal with your guests and anyone, any potential customers. But thank you so much. And again, how can anyone reach you if they want more information on the things that you have in here? Are you doing a build for them? Uh, yes, they can contact me again on Instagram uh, at Tiny House Conversions. They can contact me from my website. And uh, I and your website is bentonchf.com. Okay, and you're located where? In Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, well, thank you so much. I tell you, a master builder who <laughs> built a tiny house in a horse trailer. This is just sensational. Thank you. Bye-bye.